Welcome back guys, Carl here, and today in SQL we're going to be using a join table. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go select, we're going to select all from, let's go, let's go sales. We're going to go sales. So now that we have a data set, let's go ahead and get started with our joins. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically joining two tables, and I'm just going to go ahead and select the other table that we're going to be using for this beginner course and we're going to be using customers as well I'll just select it from here and we're just gonna be a both of these data sets so basically what we're going to be doing in this join is joining this table with this table we're going to be using the ID so let's go ahead and see what we want to do so I want to do first name last name and card type so let's go ahead and set that up by building our select statement. So I'm going to come here, say select. And now instead of all, what we're going to end up doing, we're going to come here, hit a tab, sales. And we're going to do card type. So sales.card type, comma. And then we're going to do customer, first name. customer last name hit enter I'm going to say from sales and now let's get into our join so the first join we're going to use is our inner join so we're going to say enter join and we're going to be joining customer on sales dot ID. Then we're going to say equals customer dot ID. And we'll end it here. And then let's just select everything up to here. And let's going to, and we're going to hit F5. Boom. So now we have just used inner join and used join for the first time in SQL. And now we have card type, first name, last name. We have a data set by joining two different tables. So that is how you use the join in SQL. Now if we go ahead and hit F5 on everything. Now we can just bring this up and just take a look at this for a second. So if we look at this and break this down, we have the sales table here customer table here you know it's the sales table because you have the amounts you know it's the customer table because you have the customers lastly you look at this data set and you have both the sales and the customer table and you know that because you have card types which is in the sales table and first name and last name which is in the customer table if we drag this back down the beautiful thing about joining tables is now that we've joined tables if we want to add more select statements we can come here and do a comma and let's just say we wanted to add the amount so we just go to sales dot amount and we do a f5 here and now we've been able to add the amount without having to redo our entire select statement we just simply added sales dot amount and we can continue doing this and just building the rest of it out so if we wanted to say customer dot and then it kind of gives you a drop down of what you can select from. So let's just say customer.state. And then we come here and do another F5. Now we see we have a card type, first name, last name, amount, and then we have the state. So that is how you utilize the joins in SQL. And this is how you utilize the inner join. And now you know how to use inner join.